Today we're going to be using my fall decor to style my dough bowl. I thought we'd have a little fun with that today. I've gathered items from all over and we're going to be doing three different styles. And if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then keep watching. Hi Marie, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you're here today. I purchased this dough bowl off of Amazon. It has kind of a rustic, rustic, primitive look to it. And so I thought we would style it three ways. I could go on and style it many different ways, but I decided that um, I didn't want to. I just keep it to three today. So show you three distinct styles. And we're starting with this neutral style. So I have to tell you, I haven't used this urn before, I don't think, in any of my videos, but I've had it a really long time. I have a funny story related to it. I purchased this urn at Crate and Barrel in Chicago, and I was there visiting a relative, and I was with my family, and we got on the bus from downtown, and we were going back to where my relative lived. So we were on a packed bus, and one by one, you know, people got off the bus at their stops, and a little while, that we've been on the bus, all of a sudden we were the only people on there, like my family. And the bus driver just suddenly stopped the bus in the middle of the street. And she was, her last stop was our stop. And she said, you have to get off, I, I'm done now. I'm off duty. And we just like looked at each other like, what? Because she wasn't off duty. <laughs> she was supposed to go to her, her stop, but which was our stop, the last one. So anyways, um, we had to exit the bus into a neighborhood in Chicago that we knew nothing about. And my relative who was with us, he didn't know that much about it either. So we were kind of scrambling and there I was running around this neighborhood uh, looking for the next bus stop that we could catch to get to where they lived. And um, I was carrying this large urn and it was getting heavy and uh, finally we did find a bus stop and we were able to get on a bus and connect and get home but um, it's a funny story anyway it, it just every time I look at this urn it kind of reminds me of that but um, maybe not so much funny at the time but uh, it's funny now there we were wandering around and there I was carrying my crate and barrel urn with me <laughs> in a big crate and barrel box as we were wandering around the city of Chicago anyways so I did want to say that these pumpkins that I purchased at the Dollar Tree the other day, I'm loving these. Um, they were, I was not sure if I wanted to get them, but for $2.50, they were a really good purchase. Um, they are going a long way with my decor today. And we're just adding in a few more uh, little pumpkins there. And some greenery. I think I got that greenery at Michael's, if I'm not mistaken. And then a couple more things. And then we are done with this neutral dough bowl decor. So this next style is kind of more of a traditional fall colors. It's a little bit of an antique or slash primitive style, I think. What I like to do with my decor is I like to kind of group things together and I'll, you know, when I pull everything out and I'm looking at it, I'll say, okay, these things go together and then over here, these things go together. And so I kind of get some groupings together and then that gives me a little bit of an idea of how I want to put things together. And then um, as I get things into the dough bowl or tray, I do tear trays too. Um, it just helps me then as I'm looking in there and then I just kind of fill in and tweak as we go along. Thank you. 
This basket was underneath my Demi John vase, and I thought it would make a nice little basket, kind of putting that greenery there and having it spill out. I wanted to add a little bit of greenery to this tray so that it wasn't all oranges and yellows. But I think that works. I'm loving the little house that I purchased at Target. I did a Target Shop With Me video the other day. I can link that for you below if you're interested in that. That little house was from the dollar spot this season. So cute. I've got my little candles there that are brass. I've been collecting those a little bit. I have uh, four now. So I'm always on the hunt for another one when I go into an antique place or a vintage shop, but I haven't been able to do that lately, but uh, I do like to look for those when I do go. Oh, that orange pumpkin is also from Target. And then I'm just gonna stick my wheat in there. I just have a little paper towel in there to kind of give it some uh, height there. And then there you have this traditional kind of vintage bowl. Okay, this last one here I'm doing for you is going to have kind of more of those like burgundy colors. This is a piece, it's like a half sphere that I purchased from a place called Farmhouse Wares. And it has little like app crab apple berries on it, but it is a fall piece. And I just thought it went really nice with this grateful sign that I got from the dollar store. And I'm loving those colors together. And then I just wanted to add in, I just pulled my little uh, braided pumpkin here. I thought that would look nice with it. Again, I'm adding in those neutral pumpkins. Like I said, I really love these. They have worked very well in this dough bowl today for $1.50. I'm sorry, $2.50 at the Dollar Tree. They have gone very far. I'm adding in some eucalyptus. Now, I do have a little trouble with this on this side. Uh, the sign kept wanting to tilt forward, and so I was having just a little bit of a struggle with this one, getting everything just the way that I wanted it. It actually worked better the first time I did it because I did do a trial run before I put it on camera. And then there you have it. Oh, no you don't, see? <laughs> it's, I think we get it this time. And then there's this dough bowl. Thank you so much for watching today. Please let me know which of these dough bowls you like the best in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Here's another video for you in case you're interested and I will see you in the next video.